Welcome to the Salton Sea in Corvina Beach Campground, another video in our Campground Favorite series. If you're enjoying our Campground Favorites, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe. It's a great way to follow this series. The Salton Sea, a surface area of 343 square miles, a body of salty, salty water in Southern California, right on top of the San Andreas Fault, and a little more about that somewhat creepy thought in our next video on our visit to the famous or infamous Bombay Beach. But let's do the campground first. We were meeting friends Alan and Susan, so had prearranged to meet at Corvina Beach on the east shore of the sea. The campground, if you could call it that, is really just a gravel and dirt road between the highway and the Barnacle Beach. Really, a Barnacle Beach. Sites are not numbered or even marked in any way. Just find a picnic table and a fire ring, preferably unoccupied, and park. Simple as that. Oh, and go pay. The campground offers the previously mentioned picnic tables and fire rings, garbage services, pit toilets and showers. I believe the showers are solar powered, so pick a sunny day if you need to get clean. There is water available as well. That is about it. Included in your very affordable campground fee are incredible sunrises and sunsets. I'm not really sure how many sites are available. I read somewhere the beach is about a mile long. Not that that matters, as I can't picture this place ever being full. If it is full, there are a few other options along the East Shore, Mecca Beach, Salt Creek, and a campground called Headquarters. So why did we like this somewhat desolate place? Peaceful and quiet. Well, except for the trains constantly going by. But again, trains don't bother us. In fact, they kind of fascinate me. My nephew is a train engineer. It's uncrowded. Not a lot of beachgoers under beach umbrellas here. In fact, really no one here except photographers, nature lovers, and explorers. Oh, and one motorized paraglider pilot who entertained us with his low flying abilities and takeoffs. More on him two videos from now. So back to Corvina Beach, and it's a uh, beach. Barnacles, seriously more barnacles than you can even imagine. Oh, and fish bones. Lots of little tilapia corpses line the beach. Tilapia body parts everywhere. If people tell you this is a nasty, smelly place with disgusting toxic water, don't believe it. The water was a little gunky and had a bit of an odor one day, but was really clear the next day. There was no dead fish smell. Who knows, maybe we timed it right, but I had no complaints. Other than those gazillion barnacles have sharp little edges. I recommend closed shoes. Now a little more on the Salton Sea, it's very low in elevation, in fact kind of down there with Badwater Basin and Death Valley. The deepest part of the sea is only 5 feet higher than Badwater. Hey, a cool fact. Yeah, the forming of the Salton Sea, the most recent time, was kind of an accident. 
but from what we have read, the sea has formed many times and then receded in a cycle of about four to five hundred years. This salty body of water has a higher salinity than the Pacific Ocean, but less than Utah's Great Salt Lake, so not a swimming hole for Lexi. Keeping her out of the water was a bit of a struggle, and after realizing just how sharp the barnacle bodies were, I kept her up high on the beach, where it was more of a dirt surface. Corvina Beach and the Salton Sea are unique, different, and interesting. Definitely a place for us. And now, Corvina Beach is a travel small, live big campground favorite. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and remember, we love comments, questions, and campground suggestions.